would probably say the toughest reveal was when Willow talked about self-harm, so her bout with, with self-harming. And I, a lot of people were very confused at how calm I was. And it was a moment of, it was a deep parenting moment because inside my mind, I'm, I'm almost in a panic. Like, and I was like, ooh, mm -mm, we're not gonna let that ego come in because this is not about you. This is not about you. This is not about, we're not gonna go into what you didn't do and how come you didn't know. It was like, your daughter is sharing a moment right now and you need to be present. This is not about you. So I had to go into this deep stillness and calmness so that I could hear her. I had to hear her in that moment. I could not go into ego panic mode. And really having that moment made me realize I had a deep revelation. I was like, oh, I get it. Like, you can't always be with your kids in their darkest moments, but your love is. Your love is always there, what you've poured into them. You know, you wish you could be there. And then I'm thinking about all those moments that, you know, I came to my mother later and said, oh, yeah, this was going on, this was going on. And it had nothing to do with my lack of trust in my mother. It didn't have anything to do with that. It just had everything to do with not wanting to burden my mother, you know. And it does come that point in time sometimes where, as individuals, we do, the reality is, you do have to learn how to pick yourself up and pull yourself up out of your darkest moments. Nobody can do that for you. You have to do it. And the fact that she had, then I, could, I was proud. And I could just stay out of that parental ego, self-sabotaging thoughts of you weren't good enough, you weren't there enough, you weren't this, you weren't that. No, 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 no. That's not what this is about. You know, and so, but it, that, 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 that was a moment. 